you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am with Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying not to keep it long, but y'all already know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go to Nugget today is Netflix and chill with God. Listen, you just need to go before God and just chill with him. Don't go to him asking him stuff right off the bat. You know how it is when you Netflix and chill with your significant other. Ain't nobody trying to talk about what Sally did to you. Ain't nobody trying to talk about what Joe did to you. Ain't nobody trying to talk about what the people did to you at work. Ain't nobody trying to talk about nothing that's worrisome, right? You just want you a good old bowl of spicy chili or a good old bowl of popcorn and y'all lie down or sit down next to each other and you watch that movie and you eat and you be comfortable and you just Netflix and wet chill with your significant other. You do the same thing with God. Nine times out of ten when we're not aligned to connect, what do we do? We tend to what? Go to God. Not even Netflix and chill. Not even what? Worship Him. Not even thank Him. Not be grateful. Not say anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing but do what? Can I get, get, get? Can I have, have, have? Will you, will you, will you, will you? Do you, do you, do you, do you? We all that with God instead of just what? Netflix and a chill. I told y'all the scripture that says what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and then all of those things will be added unto you. You know why? Because God already know what you want. It says seek ye first the kingdom of God. It didn't say ask God for what you need. Ask God for what you want. It didn't say ask God. It didn't say anything. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, which means that what it has nothing to do with what you need or what you want. Why? Because God already knows that. So when you seek God first, which means what you're getting to know more of him, then what? He'll go ahead and supply what you need and what you desire and what you want without you even having to ask. He already knows what you want, what you need and what you desire. He already knows that part of you. He already knows that. He already knows that. So the only thing you have to do is what? Put the first part first, which is what? Seek God. Don't go to God asking for stuff first. Then you, you come off as a Bella friender. I know for me, y'all, when it comes to friendships, whether it's in family members or with people on the outskirts, if they come across as if they want something from me and not want to know who I really am. So long, farewell, bye-bye. We can't do that thing, no. Because if you only wanna be around me because of what I have, or what you think you can get from me, then that's not a relationship. That's you trying to get what you can get when you can get it. And then when you get it, you what? You gone. Which means what? You ain't benefiting me. I'll just be benefiting you. And I don't deal in relationships like that. And do you think God does? Of course not. He knows when you're a better friend. He knows when you just want something from him. From him. Get it and then you're gone. No, you got to get a relationship. And when you develop a relationship with God, I promise you, you won't even have to open your mouth to say, God, I need. It's going to already be supplied. And if you don't see it right away, you'll already know within your core that it's already worked out. And then you won't be over there in that field of worrying, in that field of doubting, in that field of fearing. You won't be over in that field. You'll be over in pastures of peace, of happiness, of joy. Exactly. So listen, Netflix and chill with God and see how your day go. Try this upcoming week. Just Netflix. Just go before God. Say, God, hey, I just come to spend time with you. I ain't going to ask you for nothing because he already knows. Remember when I said he already know what you need, what you want? He already know that. So just say, God, I just want to spend time with you. And if you don't, you say, well, I don't know how to just communicate with God. You know how to communicate with your husband or with your wife or with your son or your daughter or with your boss or with your friends. It's the same way. Just communicate. You know, you can communicate with God all kinds of ways. Because sometimes when you don't have the words to say, you just be quiet and just go in a sigh. Or a groan. Or a moan. Or a mmm. Whatever it is. God knows what you're trying to say to him. Just start with, hey God, how you doing? I just want to tell you I love you. I just want to tell you I appreciate you. I just want to tell you that I'm so grateful. I just want to tell you that I'm so thankful. Yes, I am. And just go from there. And, and realize that he's been protecting you this whole time, even from when, you, when you were a little kid. Just go, for, it's just simple conversation, that's it. You gotta know no big words. You gotta be all sophisticated and whatnot, saying this, thou, and the other, dear, thou was thine God. You gotta do all that. If you're from Georgia like me, you're gonna be saying, hey God, hey, hi God, God, how you doing? <laughs> it's me again, yeah. Am I aggravating you yet? <laughs> Am I getting on your nerves yet? 
just talk to God the way you would talk to him normally, okay? Y'all get it, got it good? I hope so. But listen, just Netflix and chill and watch how what you desire, what you want, and what, you, what you've been with, waiting on will show up to your door. It will, it will, it will, it will. Why? Because God said what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and then all these things shall be added unto you. Why? Because God already knows what you want. Y'all get it, get it good. I'm repeating myself now, but I hope you do. But if you didn't, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mess with smile. Why? Because your smile will always be genuine. Y'all, I'll talk to y'all soon. I was supposed to be in the store buying some stuff. So let me get out. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.